So here we are over at Wild Bill's shop. He's the guy who took Shop Truck's old cab. And yeah, that's Shop Truck's old cab. He's been busy. So he's going to use it and graft a whole new basically cab floor into it. So good for him. So Shop Truck lives on. Um, I just come here and I got the trim pieces off of the doors and the cab corners. We're going to keep the belt line trim on it. So, yep, it's nice to see that my old cab is actually going to uh, live on. So, all right, more soon. Ah, October 1st, the leaves are beginning. The night days are cooler. Night is sooner. But besides it being October, check out the frame. Yeah. So now we're going to go out back. And we're going to start getting, later today, we're going to pull the cab off of a parts truck. So I can start, ah, there's parts truck's cab. So, yeah, we're going to get the cab off, and then I got to start, I'm saving the axle. I need the front spindles out of the front of it, and I got to cut the driver's side, chunk of the driver's side rail out so I can plate the other frame. So, yeah. More work on shop truck. Mr. Bean is on the stage. Driveway burnouts. Four sixty ZF five speed four by four seventy nine. F three fifty. Yeah. All right, yeah, we're done. Shut down lane. <laughs> Round two, yeah. Mr. Bean. Yeah, man. Mmm, it smells like horsepower in here. Maybe this is all of the show? I think so. Yep, 460, ZF5 speed, F350. I call him Mr. Bean. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one must have rubber now. That, that's the best one yet. No, no burn on this side. Yeah, only the driver's side let loose. That's strange. Yeah. More soon, guys. Parts truck has moved back and uh, we're gonna go get the fork extensions. We're gonna pull this cab off. Set it off to the side so I can start stripping this frame more soon follow the pretty blue tractor i may have to go inwards a little bit all right you're good come forward About a foot. 
Six inches. You're about five inches from the back. How? There we go. There we go. And we're out of here. That's the second divorce I've witnessed in a month. Where's the world going to? Oh, 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 oh. Come forward. The hood, uh, hood cable got caught on the brake lines. Sorry, guys. You're free. Onward. Sorry about that, guys. Nice. All right. So now we're going to set this over on some skids. And now it's time to start taking what I need off of this. And this is going to go bye bye. Hey, it's Crazy Charlie. She's a little sad these days. That's Blueberry Crunch. She's good running trucks. She just frames rusty on her. Oh yeah, sassy. He's impatient. No, he's not. So yep, she's gonna get set over there on the skids. More soon. What in the world? I go put the tools away and he's got this going on. He's bringing it up for me. Yep, she's sitting there on the skids now. Second divorce had happened, seen happen in a while. She was sleeping at her mom's too for a while, so it was inevitable. But she's getting to know him, so it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be a marriage soon. Excelente. Score. All right. More soon. Now we are moving a Chrysler 440. That does not belong to me, and it should be, but life isn't fair sometimes. But yeah, this is Mike's 440 out of a 4x4 truck. Yep, moving a big block. Check out the bitchin' air cleaner I found for it. Now that's just to keep the water out of the uh, water out of it. You know, try to do it a solid. And then we're gonna be geeks taking the A-frame up so we can use it on my frame. Dusty is always full of great ideas. Dusty is the man. I'll never stop saying that. He's got it just by the edge of the I-beam. I never would have thought of that. Gentlemen, if that isn't skill, I don't know what is. Wow. Pretty cool stuff here at the Wolverine Satellite Garage. Now how about that for some tools at your service? The Wolverine Satellite Garage is the place to be, my guy. For sure. It's double burnout day! Featuring Blueberry Crunch. Oh, yeah. Yes. John Force!
she's going to see the iron gods her frame has uh broken but she will give herself so others can live how valiant is that right. <laughs> hey blair crazy charlie oh shit look at this shop yes oh, thank you yes yes it smells like horsepower in the shop yes 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 it's a good day in the wolverine satellite garage turn on the exhaust fans in the shop look at her smoke it's like a whole nother burnout it's smoky over in the other in bay one too oh yeah oh the whole backyard it's like a fog in the backyard that's friggin sweet dude yes so that's what it's like to be at an Australian burnout contest. Sweet. And the carnage. Oh yeah. And who comes through the mist? It is the great Dusty himself, the burnout king. The burnout king, all hail burnout king. So, got the crane down, got her all jacked up, got the tires off. Gonna hang it up for tonight, but a good start. Gonna start getting, I want the spindles off of this, off of the front. And then uh, I'm saving the rear axle, taking a piece out of the frame, and then hasta la bye bye. So, one less thing leaving, a little more work to do, and then we can mod our frame. And then begin body assembly. So, moving in the right direction. Have no fear, the Dugster is here. Welcome to another episode of Dugster's Wolverine Garage, where today we're back on parts truck, which has given herself for shop truck. And got the old grinder with me. <clears throat> and we're going to liberate the axle from the chassis. Yeah, leaves are starting to change, mid-October, it's cold, not cold, I just got my light jacket on, but yeah, leaves are starting to change, love the maples in red, that's how you easily identify where your maples are in your property, to start tapping some trees, tap them in the spring. So yep. Yeah going to uh, liberate the axle all right and check it out I'll set this down a second check it out the creased up but almost rust free set of fenders for shop truck I got two fenders the cowl that's in the back of the bed, the hood, and of course you got to see the other fender. We'll go all the way around shop truck. Oh yeah, shop truck's frame. All right, got the hood's good, and the most important part on a Dodge truck is the sheet metal, the substructure. The hood skins will look good. 
well, if I could dig out my hood, I could show you where it's doing. But yeah, the hood usually stays good. It's the inside that rots out here. So this one's good. I'll flip it up, but I'm all by myself. So there's my hood I just picked up. Here's my driver's fender. I mean, yeah. So I'm going to start playing with a hammer and a dolly, and I'm going to try to massage them out and uh, see how well I do. My buddy Crazy Charlie's real sharp with this stuff, so he'll uh, help me out, I'm sure. And here's what I'm super excited about is these Power Ram logos. That's what I want. I don't know if I'm going to run the Ram 150. I may not do that at all. I just want Power Ram. So shop truck, those are shop truck's emblems. <clears throat> so I'm stoked about that. Stoked. And then here's the cowl. I didn't need it, but hey, the whole thing, 80 bucks. Zach, thank you. You rock. Uh, so yeah. So there's my front clip for shop truck, which makes me excited. Yes. And uh, gonna have to cut a hole in it for the tunnel ram. And, uh, which makes me want to do it to that hood because that hood's usable, just not solid. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that hood as a sacrificial lamb and see and get all my cuts right and fitment right and everything. Then when I got it right, do it to this one. So we can butcher that one up and know what works and what don't and not worry about it. And then do the final on this. There's an idea. So, yeah. She's sitting in pieces. Trying to put it all together. And we got to take a... Slice out of the frame. To make a plate. To go in here. Where you cut the top off and insert it. All right. So at least we're going to get the rear axle free more soon. And of course the grinder, the battery is flattered and piss on a plate. So, all right, she's on the charger. So now I'm going to try to pull some emblems off or at least get the tools around to get the other emblems off. So yeah, getting something done at least more soon. That was easy. First one off, didn't damage it. Moving on. So, this is what I peeled off of everything. I think I'm just going to run, I've only got one of the 150. So either I get a couple, another one of these 150s, because I got a couple of 250s. But it's not a 250. It's a 150. So I may not run those at all. And I just want to run just Power Ram. And my stock grill says Dodge in it, so I don't need that great hood banner, which is really nice, by the way. So, yeah, no damage. Everything peeled off. Just Marvy. Even though it was pretty cold out, my hands are cold. That's all right. So, yeah. Now we got to start. I'm going to take the turn signals out of these fenders and start getting it stripped down. Marching forward. Summer hot rods are built in winter. Well, I'm gonna get these in and bagged and tagged. And this worked out perfectly. Brought my uh, my parts up. I'm gonna bag and tag up to the bench. Looked over, charger's done, ready. So I'm ready to go right back out. Cut those U-bolts. Nice. So the axle is now liberated from the chassis. So now gotta roll the axle out, get the brake cables, emergency brake cables and everything taken off, and then the brake hose if it's still hooked up, then roll it out. So plug it away. So Gerald and I have been working on uh, cutting up the 
the uh, pull it rail for a uh, shop truck out of the parts truck frame. Let me get around here. And uh, there's a choppy chop. There's a choppy chop. There's a choppy chop. And then we got to get that bolt taken out. And that's going to be my section that I'm going to clean up, cut the top off, and plate the uh, inside of the frame rail. Uh, happy November. It's the 2nd of November. More soon. All right, more choppy chop. Chop, 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 chop. All right, so whack the nuts off of the fifth, or the fifth, yeah, the fifth the uh, Reese hitch actually it's a Shelton but yeah got those whacked off and maybe starting to it's gonna get dark so uh, I'm gonna get the pin drove out of that and then uh, so yeah getting stuff squared away after I get what I need off of this this is all going to wild bills I'm saving the axle just in case I need an axle on shop truck so yeah more soon.